When most people think of art, they don't picture graffiti. G reporter Gabriela Rodiles explains how this illegal act can now be considered a form of art. The murals in Phoenix, whether they are on the side of a theater or a restaurant, do what art should do, make you feel better. You, know, you can't have an uh, urban city or a community without a soul. And that's what happened in the last five, 10 years. It's developed a soul. Like all things, it started with one thing. We had Keith Haring, basically probably one of the most well-known graffiti artists in the world still to this day. He landed here in Phoenix in December of 86 and painted a mural. That thing we used to think of as delinquency has now turned into artistry. It's turned bad boys into good artists. Such Styles, yes, that's his name, Such Styles, used to be one of them. Before it was prohibited and it was off the grid, uh, done illegally, and now that it seems like there's now an, a window of opportunity to allow to express yourself through your aerosol cans, I think you'll be, be able to see some of the limits being pushed as far as creativity. Not everyone loves every mural, but of course, not everybody loves every piece of art. Either way, these paintings add color to downtown Phoenix. It's great to see the people walking around and they get to enjoy the murals as well as the art inside of the buildings. And the, the, the culture of downtown has grown tremendously and is very vibrant and exciting. When you have artists painting a mural together, there's education going on, there's sharing going on, and so there's a deeper connection left after that mural than just the paint on the wall. Maybe there's a deeper connection. Or maybe it's just taking what was boring and making it bright. It's amazing what a shot of paint from a can or a stroke of a paintbrush can do. For Cronkite News, I'm Gabriela Rodiles. Such styles and other artists working on the project hope to complete the mural sometime this month.